the SBC stuff for the last like two days have been kind of like whatever cards for the most part. I think with Radu, it's a little bit more interesting uh, because he's from Lazio. So if they do anything in the future with like Lazio players, and that's great. Um, I did the SPC because for the review account, I need like a center back. Honestly, I was using like Carl Puyo. Like you could still see that I'm still using um, this Kim Min J card, and he is not super ideal to use now. It's the new card that's good. Like the what was it? The World Cup Path to Glory. He's definitely way more ideal to use now with this Radu card. What's unfortunate about him is that he is not a lengthy player. Right. And with center backs, it is really nice to have lengthy, like really, really nice. Because look, uh, Radu in game is left footed. So that's a that's a plus, to be fair. Uh, six foot tall, medium high, left footed, three star skills, three star weak foot uh, player traits. He has is giant throw in one club player, leadership, solid player, early crosser. Early crosser is really pointless for him because it's a center back, you know, um, but injury prone, solid player and then nothing else uh, in game attributes. Like I said, on a shadow, he's a controlled player, which to be fair is not necessarily like completely horrible. A couple things are weird, right? So jumping is low. So if someone goes for a cross, sure, the six foot height could definitely be very helpful, but it would be nice to have a little bit of extra jumping for sure. Uh, but the shadow does put his defensive stats in a good area and his pace is in an okay area too. What we have to test out is obviously the fact that he's a six foot tall player with an average body type, right? So um, all of that kind of stuff is gonna be super relevant to take a look at. Um, yeah, early crosser and stuff like that's like super pointless for him because I mean, he, ha you know what it is with him? So he actually has dribbling stats and he has passing stats. So that stuff could be helpful to be honest. Like his dribbling for a center back is in a good area. So that could compensate well because of the average body type that he has. You know what I mean? So that's definitely interesting. And then the, the pace is in a better area with a shadow because aggression's also at a 90. So one of those things, you know, one of those things. But um, let's see the team that we have here. So let's actually use Divok in the squad because I just want to have some fun right now, actually. Let's do this. Let's put Divok in there. Um, yeah. So in game, obviously, he's going to be a left footed player, right? So he's going to be on the left side here. Kim and Jay, like I said, it's a card that you definitely have to improve at this point, but it's OK. Uh, four, three, two, one. Manasser, Quadrado. Yeah, that's not bad, actually. That's pretty good. And then Radu obviously has to be on the left side there. Instructions that stay back overlap. Yeah, overlap. Yeah, yeah. OK, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, let's go. Let's go try this out. I feel, I feel like I feel like we can have some fun with this. You know, I feel like we could. Ooh, Divok Origi. Went in with the left foot there. Also switched with Kim to the right side. They stay switched too, look at that. See? On the right side now. Did okay over there. The initial acceleration took a little bit, of course, but his tackle afterwards was fine. Oh God, he wanted to go for the extra pass there for some reason. Good boys, good boys, good boys, good boys. Yeah, so that one we were testing out the uh, running animation, which, again, you could tell the acceleration and sprint speed is set up a certain way for sure. That's good. He has the reach for that. Nice goal. Oh, little intricacies, you know. A challenge.
good challenge again. That was uh, AI defending right there too, so that's good. Radu on the aggressive interception. Good. Had to make sure I'd switch the angle there. Dude, if he gets upgraded, like, uh, that's going to be one of the craziest SBCs, huh? Oh, I should have greened it. What am I doing? Yes. You got to green it, my boys. You got to green it. This guy, the only thing he knows how to do is just run with Mbappe all the way to the side, go for that one pass. Everybody else in this game. Oh, Radu! See, our trigger merchant, guys. I thought I was going to score that. I was like, what's going on here? Divok! Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Russian tactics. Uh, to be fair, the patch, it helps it a little bit. A tiny bit. Like, there's that one passing option they actually gave me there. Yo, guys, you know what I just noticed? This dude's first name is like Tefon with a question mark. What? It's crazy. Oh, Tenali, what an SBC, eh? That thing was sick. Woo! Frank Ribari. Look at Tonali, bro. Well, did I keep him on side there? That's my fault. I'll take that. I'll take that. You know, that's one of those things where it's like, I'm not defending normally. I'm like, let me just get a highlight with him, you know? Like, lo I'm looking at him rather than just playing the game normally there. <laughs> There you go, collect that real quick. There you go, there you go. That's always the nice thing with him being left-footed, right? Stuff like that. Yes, sir. Divok Origi. Divok! Oh, dude, even Kim Kim has that thing more than him. You know why? Because Kim's lengthy. You guys get what I'm saying? Like, you have to like really get into like these positions here for you to be able to fully utilize that defense. Where it's like his defensive animations are good, but once it's the chase after, that's where it's a little bit of an issue, right? So you have to be very mindful of the tactics that you use. Driven! Look at him, he's so good! Alright, that's a good situation, actually. Yeah, I kind of figured you got cheese from that. I slid there, but guys, listen, in FIFA, don't ever slide, okay? Don't ever slide. Never, right? When you slide, 
It's like you're basing it too much to real life. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, I would slide in real life. I do it for the review. Uh, let's see if, he, if I could get like a highlight with a block or something, but always just maintain your ground. It's, uh, the slide is just not really worth it. Like sometimes you get a penalty and stuff and you know. To be fair though, if your defending tactics are a little bit more conservative and you're not too worried about like the chase after, which to be fair in this game, you kind of have to because people love to hold our trigger. Um, his defensive animations are good. Like those defensive stats being high is noticeable. It's kind of like me using Ricardo Carvalho if I wanted to do that, you know? No, not to him. Then again, Mario Silva gets dusted on the pace nowadays, too. Hold that there. There we go. Yeah, Mario Silva. Mario Rui. Origi! This is a Origi, Origi review, guys. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you guys, like... It's like I mentioned in the review, like, I don't know what it is. I don't care about lengthy on strikers anymore. Like for me, engine chemistry style on these guys, it just fits so much better, you know? Good, he actually went with his weak foot there. Yeah. I, you know, I wish that was a more consistent thing. Like if I'm manually using the defender and the person passes the ball there, especially because my cursor is there, it should just, I should just get the ball every time. I'm telling you, it would make defending so rewarding if that was the case. Like that, you know what I'm saying? Like I know where the cut pass lane is. Like it should just like magnetize to that area. Like that, I wish, I wish that was so consistent. Yeah, it passes the wrong person there. I don't know why he stopped playing. I think he's going to leave. Yeah. Because you, you could see the clear pass at the top and it passed it to Quadrado. I was like, what? Like, you could see my controller aiming it like upwards, but, you know. Got the qualification games, though. I wish there was a way to play like the foot champs matchmaking consistently. Like if that was the matchmaking that we got for like a tournament mode, you know what I'm saying? Like, that'd be sick. It'd be cool, because then I would have to sweat like a, a sweaty man's in the elite division. And then once I get to the foot champs, I can kind of play with these different players like Divock and stuff. I don't have to use like full meta, you know, because Divock's sick, you know, 40k, can't go wrong with him. And then if he gets the upgrade, it's going to basically be like a cheap Ebro, which would be nuts. Uh, but it's still a cool card even right now for people who want to do like the AC Milan players. Um, OK, so Radu, guys, um, with defender reviews, I try to put some highlights of some goals to kind of make it a little bit more interesting because I think watching just defensive animations is a little bit boring. Sometimes depends. You know, some people just want to see the defensive animations. Um, so here's the thing about this card, right? So for value in game, I think 33K is not bad, right? Uh, it's definitely more of a concept card than it is like, oh, the craziest meta. Um, here's the thing. So if your defensive tactics are not like crazy aggressive, like because um, this tactic that we use for the 4-3-2-1 it kind of does like an auto offside trap. So when you do that, you know, you want to try to have like full meta center backs as much as possible, right? So that their chase after animation is really good to kind of block out attackers as much as possible, right? So with stuff like that, uh, you're going to sometimes find a problem with Radu because of his acceleration while being a controlled player, right? Uh, if he was a lengthy, it would definitely compensate a little bit more. You could even notice it on the Kim Min J card, right? So Kim Min J. So Kim and Jay, so this guy must be a monster because uh, he's a lengthy on a shadow. And uh, I never tried him out personally, but he must be really, really good because 97 sprint speed with the lengthy is really nuts. But um, yeah, you know, in his case, with him being right footed um, in that area, you know, he defends really well. The lengthy definitely compensates a lot. I'm using the player of the month still, right? And you could still notice that lengthy kind of creating that extra push on the card. Now, if it's not just about the push or the chase after animation, you know, basically trying to chase after someone in general, he has really good defensive animations. You know, his defensive animations are great. He is a left-footed player, so that adds another variable to the card because 
it is really nice to work with left-footed players in the strong side. In this game specifically, like it's like every single position, left attacking mid, left mid, left striker, left back, like it's always strong. It's always important to have strong foot on the strong side. And some years it's always strong foot on the opposite side, depending on the types of goals that you score, right? But in this case, because people try to go for cross-body shots as much as possible, it's nice to kind of commit in with your left foot. So if you're Again, using defense and tactics that are not as like aggressive, like with the auto offside trap, you don't have to worry about the pace as much. He does have some pretty decent physical capabilities with his defending. Like I still thought he was an enjoyable card to use in the game because it's basically like, like I said, it's kind of similar to me using uh, Ricardo Carvalho, right? Like Ricardo Carvalho can get dusted on the defense when it comes to his pace, right? Because if you take a look at his card, we have him on the RTG. And again, it's a card that, oh, it's a card that has a uh, really good, um, really good um really good defensive animations right because defending stats is like super high like those types of things you notice but he's a controlled player on 86 89 so it's kind of like using that right good defensive animations lower pace you'll notice the lower pace from time to time but i mean for 33k for a card that gives you the lazio links just in case for the future you can't go wrong with it like i said i needed a Serie A center back that's left footed so it's a card that i would use regardless like i'm not trying to be full meta in every single area of the pitch all the time so for 33k i don't mind the sbc to be honest with you it's one of those ones uh in my opinion especially since they have recently released the 82 plus which let's see what's the requirements for this Minimum rare, uh, minimum four number of players on the squad seven. That's a WSBC. That's a huge, huge WSBC. When they drop this stuff, that's when it like really, really uh, helps out a lot. Like those ones are the are the ones I gotta grind a lot for future SBCs and stuff. But um, yeah, not necessarily meta because of the pace and the accelerates, guys. Uh, but it's still a great card in game. Like defensive animations are solid, right? One of those ones. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.